I think what's going on. Uh, I want to say something that's really unpopular. I've said it before, but it has to be said again. The, the, number, of, the number of people that, I, that message me here, fucking suicidal, depressed, got all this stuff, and they, they often say this. I say what's going on. The first thing, the first text is happiness and peace. I'm just not happy. I just don't have peace in my life. <laughs> life is not about peace. There, you won't have just peace in your life. In fact, peace doesn't exist without war. If you didn't have war and turmoil, how would you know if you ever had peace? You wouldn't know what peace meant. It, you wouldn't know what it is. You would have nothing to measure it by. You need war. War is part of the fucking equation. Life has war. You have a war in your mind sometimes. Sometimes you beat yourself up. You have a war in your family. Sometimes you want to kill those fuckers and sometimes they want to kill you. Sometimes it gets physical. You have a war in the relationship, at work, in your company. You have war on the streets. You have war in the world, in nature. Same thing for happiness. Happiness doesn't exist without sadness. If you've never experienced sadness, you will never experience happiness. You won't know what to measure it by. There's nothing to compare it against. Nothing exists without the existence of its opposite. So if you have someone in your life, an organization, mentor, teacher, whatever the hell, a book, saying that peace and happiness is the goal, they're teaching you half truth. It's not the full fucking truth. And you might think that they might have achieved it. All happiness, all peace. And so you'll keep subscribing to them. But it's a stitch up. It's not the full truth. And if you follow them around their whole entire life, 24-7, 365, you'll see that they have the other side as well. They'll have the other side. So the first thing I ask these people is, did you have a religious upbringing? A lot of the mainstream in religious institutions promote this shit. Nearly all of them tell me that they were. They brought up in this idea, in this paradigm from a young age, the peace and happiness. There's peace, all peace, all happiness. That's the thing. And if your life doesn't have that, there's something wrong with you. There's something fucking wrong. If you are experiencing sadness and war and turmoil, welcome to life. Welcome to planet Earth. That's part of the game. That's part of the equation. And those experiences are there to help us grow, to help us prioritize what we're doing, to help us evolve. And if you use those experiences to do that, you will acclimate through the realms and you'll have a very fulfilled and empowered life. And you'll see the blessing of both sides. I'm doing a war now. Fantastic. I love doing war. It's fun. It's fun. And also during peace, great. Sometimes peace gets fucking boring. You want to stir the pot a little bit. You know what I mean? Stoke the fire. So we self-sabotage and stir shit up so that we get to experience war. Because inherently we want both. We like both. It's just if you're comparing it to that you shouldn't war. And it's the trying to attain the unattainable that's the source of the suffering. By the way, if you want the formula for family peace or world peace, here's the formula. If your family's in turmoil, you need to all band together and create a war on the outside, war on the family across the road. Your family dynamic will sustain a conservation of peace and war. You'll either be warring against each other or at certain moments in time, you'll have a war on the outside and you'll all be in peace inside. So when the football's on and you're, you're all banding together, going for one team, warring on the other side, you'll be peace. Fuck that umpire, you're doing a war on the TV. You're all in peace together, but the war is conserved. You don't escape war. Same as world peace, by the way. There's a war on planet Earth. There always has been, always will be, until we get invaded by an alien race. Then the humans will band together and war on them. And momentarily, we could have peace among humans on Earth because all the nations of the world with all the nuclear warheads will be strategizing together to, to war on the outside. We don't escape the war, it's just directed in a different direction. You don't escape that shit. You better learn to love it. Uh, Robin and I often say that we hope that when we do social media, we we do our best to present a balanced view of ourselves. We share that we have both sides. We have both sides. We have sadness here. We certainly have turmoil. We have war. I built up. I built a fucking flamethrower last week uh, in the middle of a war. I built up. A... Anyway, that was funny. We have war here. We have turmoil. We have sadness. We got it all. We got the other side. We got it all. We got it all. I certainly hope not to present just one side of ourselves. And I really strongly feel that if, you're, that if you're smart, if you're wise, if you're grounded, you don't look up to people and think that they've only got one side, peace, happiness, they've got it all.